because the crew has been updated once again. Yay! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. My name is Ness. My name is Vic Kirby. And today we got a discussion video because the crew has been updated once again. Yay! Which is awesome because they got a couple new things and I will start off by showing off the Hummer here, the monster truck version. They went with the slant back on it now instead of how it was before. It had the flat back with a roll bars I think it was. I'm not entirely sure. I can't really remember. I'll have to look through my photos later. Um, so that I love. That was awesome. I'm going to start this off with a positive thing. I believe there has been a graphical enhancement, at least it seems like it, with how much I've been playing of it lately. And the summit is going on right now. And there is an awesome reward, which is 50,000 uh, in-game points for buying stuff and everything else. With that said, there's been some things that it kind of disappointed me. We'll take a look at that real quick right now. I'm going to go ahead and go to Garage Kirby. Alright, so we are here in the garage in the workshop. Let's take a look at the collection board. As you can see, and Kirby's getting a first glance at all this at the same time as you guys right now. Unless you guys play this game, then you guys may already know. The pictures are all upgraded and changed. At the what? In the garage on the board where you can look through what you have and don't have. Okay. You see the pictures are all changed now. They've been like enhanced to where the vehicles look better and um, they're more showroomy. Yep. Kind of thing like that. I like that. I do. It's kind of cool. Kind of off throwing though because of some of how some of the vehicles are facing in these photos. But I do like it. I like how, like, this is where I'm saying the graphical enhancements are coming in. Because it seems like they did a little bit of an overhaul on certain things. However, here's where disappointment comes in. We've talked about this in a previous video. I haven't seen no new cars added. Not to my knowledge, anyways. And I look through these almost every day. Let me get to a page where I don't have cars. Starting right here with the 15 GT Fastback. Uh, I didn't see any new cars added, but they may have them coming in after the summit, maybe? I don't know. Either way, though, I still want to get that Lambo right there. Here's where the disappointment comes in. I'm going to hit start and go to the extreme page. And you can see there's a few cars here, and I have some points earned to get some of these and stuff like that. But I was really, really hoping when I saw that they added some stuff, that they would have added more muscle cars in some of these categories. And added, where's the charger? Let me see. I'll, and good. the drag. Yeah, the charger is a good example of what I want to show here. Where is it? There it is. The Charger still only has drift. I don't expect it. I really don't care if it gets a monster truck spec. But I really would like it to have the drag. The drag racing kits and everything like that. It's an old muscle car. That's what they were built up to do. That's what you see in most drag events. Like there's a lot of new cars hitting the scenes in drag events and stuff. But you don't like any drag show you go to is going to have an old muscle car in it every time and with that I was looking through here and I still don't see any other old muscle cars in any other categories and the reason why this is a disappointment is when I heard the update was coming oh wait no I knew that okay I lied there is the Shelby right there for a drift again but it's not for the drag right here and I will go ahead and jump into the summit real quick and show you why I'm saying this is a disappointment. My saying is I don't understand why muscle cars are not drag cars in the first place. 
Oopsie. I went to drift, not drag. I mean, all muscle cars are drags. And for them not to do it is just ridiculous. Speaking of which, I'm in a drift in a muscle car. Well, that's weird by itself. No, even in like Japan and stuff like that, muscle cars have been taking over the scene uh, in the drift. Like I think one of the new DKs. Yeah, like but I of said. all things, I was expected to be a drag before a drift. Yeah, true, true. And I messed up there. So let me go ahead and redo this. Go to the drag. No, the drag trial. Play. I'd invite Kirby to do this, but he doesn't have a pass right now to this. Nope. Okay, see all these right here? None of them are muscle cars. I'm going to do it in my rough real quick. Mm. But right here. See right there is the Impala. The blue car right there is the old Impala. All drag styled out. Had a parachute and bars on the back and everything else. It's in the game. So the big question is why can we not get it in the game? And that's why I'm saying it's kind of disappointing and I was hoping that it would have been in this because it, that has been like that since our last update video which was an update or two ago. And I know they did maintenance and they overhauled some things and it's a maintenance, not an update, it's a maintenance. I understand that. But I'm saying the car is in the game. And they probably have this stuff so unless they have a big update coming which I don't work for them, I'm not associated with them, I really wish I was, because hey, maybe I'd get better news and stuff, and that was horrible. I just bad burned. Um, but maybe they have an update coming where they're going to throw it all in there, but I was really, really hoping as soon as I saw... Because I do keep up with them on uh, Twitter and everything else, and they said they had a big update coming and everything else, or a maintenance scheduled and everything, you know. So I was thinking, oh, okay, cool. Maybe with this next summit, we'll see some new drags in there. We'll see some new muscles in there. And unfortunately, that's not the case. I didn't see no new cars either. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy with the maintenance. I'm happy with the update. Uh, the fact that my Hummer now looks like a Hummer instead of, like, uh, the pickup version, which I like the pickup version, but I like the slant back more. This run was horrible. <laughs> so with that, you, let's talk about the future of this real quick. We're going to try and make this a little bit of a shorter, going over what the update is. Um, they did act, uh, add a practice mode where you can practice the next summit events that are going to be coming up. That way you'll have an edge on it, I guess you could say. You'll get your practice in there, then whenever it comes out, you'll be ready for it. I haven't dabbled in that too much yet, because I've been trying to focus and work on this summit. What is that? Oh, yeah, let's equip that. And... As far as that goes, that's cool, because that gives even people who don't have their summit passes yet, such as Kirby, Yep. A chance to see what's coming up in the next summit and everything else. Let's go the find The reason it. why I don't have a pass yet is because I haven't been on it in a while. Let everybody know. Um So maybe there's an update coming in. Let's see what let's let's talk about what could be in this next update. Maybe they'll throw in the drags and more muscle cars into the category of drag and extremes and stuff like that. Uh, the photo mo mode, I'm loving I'm taking photos every time I'm on, which is almost every day. Yep. Uh, so you can find those on my Twitter and everything else. I try and post them and everything. So, new cars would be cool. Throw in some more muscles. Throw in some more cars. I like, to, I like to see some more old school. Yeah, that's, yeah stuff like that. I love to see a an old VW Bug. Uh, yeah, that, that's one thing that I would say would be good for almost every category if they throw it in. And they have the, the rights to Volkswagen, or at least some Volkswagen. There's a couple cars, like I said, and I still haven't found out. Rather not to have the licensing for. Me in real life, I drive an Eclipse. I'd love to see some Eclipses in there, some Mitsubishi, some more Subarus and Mazdas as well. 
we talked about that in a previous video so if you want to check out that video go for it the whole practice mode a couple visual I would changes like to see some hondas if they got the right to honda that would be cool too because they can throw a couple honda motorcycles and stuff in there even yep and i would like to see a trike a trike yep i would okay that's new that's interesting that would be awesome to do a trike bike. Especially like a drag trike. Yep. That would be badass. And you know, you know what else would be cool? This, this for the hell of it. It's some regular bicycles. No, dude. This, <laughs> come it on, bro. Come on, no. Dude, go back and play some GT. Go play some GTA. No, did not that kind of <laughs> Um... What was I gonna say though? Oh, that now you're reminding me. Thank you. With what Kirby's doing right now, he should be running me over with ease. So I think the monster trucks need a little more work still. Also though, now I'm doing like a hundred something sideways. <laughs> also though, I saw on one of their posts. It said watch for upcoming events and new stuff and blah blah blah. It looked like they're gonna throw in like a monster truck mayhem kind of thing going on where they are gonna have like car crushing competitions and stuff. That would be cool for a monster truck event. Don't get me wrong, the loops and stuff, which is right over here. Let's take a drive, I guess. This whole playground up here is fun, yes. But for the events of like collecting points and everything else like that, it was interesting and fun when it first came out for me. It, it kind of just dissipated and I don't really like playing it anymore. It's like I do it once for the summit, call it good, call it quits, and I don't do it. Coming out here and playing around on it is extremely fun. It is amazing. I love doing it. We come out here with cops on us and just horse around and it's fun because the cops actually do chase you up these ramps and stuff. It's hilarious to watch. But I think a better monster truck event would be like a car crushing competition, like in the actual monster truck stuff or a racetrack even. With I would like trucks. to see some destruction derby like a monster truck racetrack like as you know that's one of the starting points right there you know have have it like a double checkpoint type race or something checkpoints going on that with another update or whatever what would be cool is if we could put uh, checkpoints on top of this stuff right here on top of these like loops and up on the topper levels and stuff like that as of right now, you really can't. I tried because, like, when we're doing our um, free roam challenges and stuff, we like to create races out here. It's really fun. But you can't really put checkpoints on any of this stuff. Maybe with this maintenance and update, they did, but we haven't tried it yet. So we'll, maybe we'll try that in a little bit. We'll get back to you guys on that. So yeah, there's a few ideas, a few things that are disappointing, a few awesome things. Like, I love the way this monster truck looks now. I really do. I love the Hummer. I love the Slantback original H1 Hummer. And any more input, Kirby? Anything else that you want to see? Maybe a future update or... Mm, more customability for the vehicles would be nice. Such as... Like more decals, more designs. Uh, let's see here. Put in and create your own. Like, uh, go say you go online to you. Awesome go Make online to you play. Thing. Upload an image. Cut it to fit your uh, vehicles or whatever. Yeah, that'd be cool. That take uh, that actually kind of take the work uh, off about, of How about we can pick the colors of our tires? Yeah, that'd be all right. That'd be kind of cool. That's in real life too. I mean, you can get different color tires. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. But I, and I see them kind of working on that with the whole, you know, go through the PVPs and get the bronze color tires, the silvers, the golds, and the uh, yeah, platinum. Yeah, but it's not really the same, though. Yeah, I know. You want some lime green tires or something like that. Yes, I like do. That. Yes, yes. The only problem I see them having with that... Oh, that hurt. 
is the fact that I would have to go through all the rims they have and re thank you sir you may I have some more and <laughs> and reskin them with the colors and that doesn't seem like hard but as a programmer that would be yeah but if they're gonna do everything else a I thing mean... uh, I'm, okay instead of okay but still that would be cool I'm gonna say whoop I'm gonna start my controller I would say yes that would be cool but I'd still rather see them work and try and get muscle cars in as dragsters over that. Oh thing. yeah, definitely. I like to see more vehicles as monster trucks too. Such as? Well, for one, monster—I mean, muscle cars should be monster. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of in a disagreement. Yeah, but I've seen a Dodge Charger as a monster truck. Yeah, but. I don't know. I, I, I if guess they it, have a Camaro as a freaking monster truck, they can have a freaking... I get what you're saying. I get what you're doing. But I also understand them, and that takes away the diversity of everything. Where certain cars can be certain things. Or maybe if we can lower or lift cars would be nice. Like, if we can slam some cars to the ground, that'd be awesome. Like a low rider pack. <laughs> I'm not gonna say nothing. Not gonna say nothing. Uh, uh, maybe if we can tint our windows, would be nice too. You do realize that the windows are tinted on everybody else's car, but yours because. Of the storyline and everything, there's like it's supposed to. Yeah, I know. Let I know. You see the character and interact. And, anyways, or maybe yeah. we can put some symbols on our back windows. What do you mean symbols on the back windows? Like like some decals. Hmm, that'd be cool. Like how you said we could create our own for our car. It'd be nice to do something like that on our windows. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. That, that would be cool, but yeah, like, that would take a lot of, um, strain off of the crew creators and stuff like that, programmers and stuff. If they would just, on the Uplay website or on the crew website or wherever they want to put it, have, have a custom, custom license plate. Custom logo. Well, how often are you looking at the little bitty little license plates on this thing? I can't even see mine. It's covered in mud. Well, yeah, but I, I wouldn't mind it. It'd be interesting for like photo ops and stuff, yeah. You know, it would be nice if we can custom color our vehicles too, like certain parts where we can change colors compared to the other. You mean like the car's primary and then like a secondary for Yeah, something like that. Oh, but they do kind of have that. I don't know if, it, I know it's only on a certain few things. Yeah, but it's not, you know what I mean? If like, like we could change like multicolor on one vehicle would be awesome. Where's it at? That. Here. Check it out. Basically, this is what you're talking about right here, right? Come here. Where you at? Don't hurt me, though. Yeah. Stop. Kind of like that? Yeah, something like that. Where my primary is one color and the secondary. This does have a secondary color, Kirby. That's what I did the blue in. Yeah. So what you're saying is basically like make the body of the car one color and then like the body kit of the car another? Something like that? Yeah. That'd be kind of cool. Like, like even with our Marshall truck, we can paint the like the frame one color and then the truck a different color. Yeah. Or we could change it up like the hood and trunks one color. I don't know. Like, I don't want to get. So I, I don't want to get too crazy with it, but yeah, they well, got. No, a lot I mean of... not like all at once, but it'd be nice slowly if they would add some stuff in yeah. like that. But my main focus is the thing that I was disappointed in, and like I said, maybe they'll have a bigger update later or something. Is I wanted to see some more muscle in the extreme categories. I mean, for them to keep people wanting to still play this game. And I definitely wanted to see. Muscle they gotta cars. add more vehicles and more options to vehicles. This oh, so this is gonna hurt. 
Just so people, you know, oh yeah, I want to get, I want, I want to get back on this game because there's a new vehicle coming in or something like that. Yeah. I mean, that's usually what keeps which, people which, playing. Which they are kind of doing every now and then here and there. They're throwing in yeah. new vehicles. I think you should put a new vehicle in like once a month. Every new summit, like I was saying, would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> I just see me floating. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I definitely want to see some muscle cars as drag vehicles. That was my biggest pet peeve about everything. Maybe with motorcycles, give them the monster trucks specifications to where you can do more tricks. Like right now you can't do 360s on them, you can't do barrel rolls or anything like that. It'd be kind of cool to be able to do that stuff on a motorcycle. And the cost of the gear, please lower the cost of the gear on the motorcycles. The, to customize your character on there is ridiculously priced. It is majorly ridiculous. You're looking at a good two, what, $150,000, $200,000 just to get your, your character's helmet and outfit. That's ridiculous. I can see if I was customizing it myself. Shit. Now, if I was making millions on this. Like every like few hours or so, or every day, make you know half a million dollars, or actually I kind of do. But like every day, make like a million dollars or whatever. Ow. Then yeah, I can see myself going and you know getting all my motorcycle stuff customized. But as of right now, I only have one motorcycle character, and that's only and they don't even carry it over to the other specs. Like here's my Kawasaki. My circus bag, all customized, uh, rider and everything like I wanted. But now watch, I'll go to the Kawasaki in the performance spec. And my rider's the basic stock one because it doesn't carry over like that. Now to repurchase that on every spec of every motorcycle, if you wanted to do that, it's gonna be well over four or five million dollars of in-game currency or whatever. Because every motorcycle has multiple specs. Heck, the KTM's got almost every spec. See, I got the KTM Rally, Dirt, Street. I'm sure it's got, like, performance, too. I'm not even sure. But, yeah. Anyways, we're carrying on. We're going to go ahead and cut this right now. That was the positives and negatives of everything that's been going on in the crew. The update, the or not update, the maintenance, I should say. And what we wanted to see, what we didn't see. I love this photo mode, though. Am Rider's gone. Anyways, I'm not going to worry about a photo right now. If you guys caught anything that we missed, leave a comment down below. Uh, if you enjoyed this rant and rave about everything going on, make sure to smack that like button and subscribe to stay tuned for more fun. Alright guys, till next time. Peace! Later!